does adopted child get inheritance from adopters what was the answer according to hadith 3225 <coughs> he or she will not get any inheritance from the adopters but the adopters can mm. give him gift can he give him some of their property or wealth while they are alive what is the nobility in the eyes of people The nobility, according to Hadith 3227, the nobility of the eyes of people is, is well. Well, can you give me an example for it? Um, you see, do you say if you are like you are useless if you don't have wealth? Mm -hmm. Like when someone goes to, to get married to a lady, if he is the one who has more money, the one who has money, and the other one who doesn't, people will choose the one who has money for mm -hmm. their daughter. And they will not look what is their job, what whether their income is halal or haram income. They only look at the wealth. What type of, of woman shall a person choose as his wife? A beautiful woman or a rich woman or a religious woman? Uh, he uh, you can choose any, but the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam said the best of them is the one who is religious. Why the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam gave this dua? May your hands get soiled. A person who chooses a religious woman instead of a beautiful girl. Do you remember or did you forget the answer? Thank you for forget the answer. Okay. Today we are going to start Sahih al Bukhari from Hadith number 2668. So, what student we have is uh, Abdullahi Amina. Abdullahi Amina, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Read this one. Okay. 2668 narrated Ibn Malaika, Malaika Ibn Abbas wrote that the Prophet sallam, gave his verdict on the basis of the defendant's oath. So basically it means for example, if you have a dispute with someone, the one who takes the matter in the court needs to provide the witnesses. If that person cannot provide witnesses, then the defendant will just take the oath and the judge will give the verdict in his favor. Last time I explained this in detail when we were studying on Sayyid Bukhari. No need to write any question today. Now we will proceed to the <clears throat> next studies. Next student, Kazin. Okay, two two six six nine two six seven zero. Narrated Abu Wa Wali Abdul bin Masud said, "Whoever takes a false oath in order to grab some property unjustly, Allah will." will be angry with him when he will meet him. Allah confer confirmed that through his divine revelation, verily those who purchase a small gain at the cost of Allah's conveyance and their oath up to the, a painful tournament. Next. 
Al Ash Ashaf bin Qay Qais came came to us and asked, "What is Ayub Ab Abdul Rahman Abdul Abdul telling you?" We told him about what he he was narrating us to us. He said he was telling the truth. The divine verse was revealed in connection with me. There was a dispute between me and another man about something. The, the case was pre presented before Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who said, produce, produce your two witnesses or else the defense is to take an oath. I said, the defense will surely take a false oath without heed the the Prophet said, "The Prophet said, whoever takes a false oath in order to grab others' property, then Allah will be angry with him. When he will meet him, then Allah revealed its confirmation." Al Ashraf, Al Ashraf, then recited the about divine verse. So. In the courts, there are different types of cases. Some, sometimes there are cases about business disputes, sometimes inheritance dispute, <clears throat> sometimes transaction disputes. And often we get an opportunity that if we tell a lie in front of the judge, we can get some financial benefit. It happens often in the judge courts. So what will happen to a person who <clears throat> takes a false oath in order to grab someone's property or wealth in the court? Then we find the question, what will happen to a person who takes a false oath to grab someone's someone else wealth or property property especially if you are living in a non-islamic country where islamic laws are not applicable then you often get this chance especially in a inheritance you can just simply go to the court and take what is not belong to you islamically according to the law okay. you can take it easily but according to Islamic law, you can take it. So in that case, the answer you need to write here. According to Hadith 2670. According to Hadith 2670. Allah will be angry with him when Allah will meet him. I will repeat the answer. According to the Hadith 2670 of Sayyid al-Bukhari Allah will be angry with him when Allah will meet him. Next student with the name R. Can you hear me? Mr. or Ms. R. No. Oh, Muhammad. Yes. Repeat the question and the answer. What will happen to a person who takes a false oath to grab someone else's wealth or property? According to Hadith 2670 
of Sahih al-Bukhari, Allah will be angry with him when Allah will meet him. Now read this one. Uh, 2671 narrated Ibn Abbas radiallahu anha anhuma Hilal bin Umayya accused his wife before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of committing illegal sexual intercourse with Sharik bin Sahma. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, produce a proof or else you will get the legal punishment by being lashed on your back. Hilal said, O oh Allah's messenger, if anyone of us saw another man over his wife, will he go to search for a proof? The Prophet wasallam went on saying, produce a proof or else you will get the legal punishment by being lashed on your back. The Prophet wasallam then mentioned the narration of Li'an as in the holy book, Surah, Surah to An-Nur, number 24. Mm. So... There is a situation, let's suppose a man can, uh, comes home and see his wife with another man in the bed. What shall the man do in this situation? This and this addresses. What shall a man do if he see his wife with another man in Bad. Basically, she is coming adultery in his absence. So, what shall a man do if he see his wife with another man in bed? According to Hadith two six seven one. If he has two witnesses then he will take the matter to the Islamic court. So in the answer you will write I will repeat if he has two witnesses, then he will take the matter to the Islamic court for legal proceedings. And if he does not have two witnesses, then both husband and wife will do Leon in the court. Both husband and wife do Leon in the Islamic court. Now question, what is Lian? It is written here. So basically in Lian, they will uh, take an oath in front of Allah. 
because human does not know what happened. So witnesses are not there. Husband is accusing the wife of adultery and woman is denying this accuse. So in that case, they will do Lian. Lian basically mean they will say if I am commit, I am telling lie, curse of Allah be upon me. So they will leave the matter to the Allah and on the day of judgment, Allah will deal this issue. And also the divorce is implemented if husband and wife do Lian. So, but these days there are no Islamic courts. So, there is another hadith which tells us and write this sentence with the answer as well. If there are no Islamic courts, if there are no Islamic courts, then the husband should divorce his wife then the husband should divorce his wife he should not take or he should not try to kill the lady or he should not try to kill the wife so basically it means that the person cannot take the law in his hand. If the Islamic court is available, he will take the matter to the Islamic court. If there is no Islamic court and you are living in a country like UK where adultery is legally allowed, so this means you cannot take any legal action, so you will just divorce your wife, nothing else. Okay, Abdullahi Amina, did you write the answer? Abdul. Yes. Okay, repeat the question and the answer. Repeat the question. Question, what shall a man? Yes. Question, what shall a man do if he sees his wife with another man in bed? Mm. Yeah. Answer, according to this, 2671, he must have two, he must have two witnesses according to Islamic proceedings, if he doesn't produce two witnesses, they have to say the li'an. Yes. And what if there are no Islamic courts available? In you, like, he must divorce the wife. Yes. Now read this one, 2672. 2672 narrated Abu Raira radiallahu anhu. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are three types of people whom Allah will neither speak to them nor look at them nor purify. Nor purify them from the sins and they shall have a painful torment. They are one, a man possessed superficial water on a way and he withheld it from travelers. A man who gives a buyer that's a pledge to a Muslim ruler and gives it only for worldly gains. If the ruler gives him what he wants, he remains obedient to him. Otherwise, he does not abide by it. And three, a man begins with another man after the Asr prayer and the latter takes a false oath in the name of Allah, claiming that he has been offered so much for the thing, and the former believes him and buys it. So three things are mentioned here. That Allah will not look at them or not purify them. Who are these three people? First person, if you are traveling in a journey, you have water with you. And someone asks you for water, but you don't give them the water to drink. This is the person. Allah will not speak to him, not purify him. 
second this first thing was very common in the old time when people used to travel on animals so they used to carry water with them nowadays we usually don't see this situation but the second thing is still happening in almost every islamic country so basically uh, in islamic country they support the ruler only for worldly gains not for the religious purposes so this is for those people who supports the the muslim rulers for worldly benefits not for religious person then the third one is those who make bargain but then they break their dealing when they see some better opportunity we did not write any question from this or this but just focus on the second point and third point as well second point is happening in many islamic countries they are some people support the leaders or politicians or rulers only for worldly benefit this or this is for them and third thing these mean third point mean that when you make a deal with a person then you must fulfill the deal you cannot break that deal once it is done next student kazin read this one uh, marwan ordered zayed bin sahibit to take an oath on the pulpit but the latter said i will take an oath at my place and started taking the oath and refused to take it on pulpit marwan was Surprised by his refusal, the Prophet وسلم, said to the pl plaintiff, Produce your witnesses or else the defendant has to take the oath. But he did not specify where the oath was was to be taken. Okay. Read the next one. Okay. Two, uh, two, six, seven, three. Narrated Ibn Mus Musud. The Prophet وسلم, said, whoever takes a false oath in the order to grab others' property, then Allah will be angry with him when he will meet him. Okay, we have two things. First thing, we often see people, they demand to take an oath under the Quran or take an oath some at holy place like Kaaba, Masjid Nabi, stuff like this. These claims are useless. Oath is an oath. Whether you take it at holy place or whether you take it at your home, it is same everywhere. So no need to specify or no need to ask any specific place for asking the oath. Oath is of same value whether you take oath in holy place or whether you take oath at mosque. Someone is asking the name of the book. The name of the book is Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari. Anybody can write the question. Is the oath taken at Kaaba more worth dear more worth dear than the oath taken at the market or house <clears throat> is the oath the oath taken at Kamba 
now taken and comma is it worthy as Okay, the oath taken at Kaaba, is it worthier than the oath taken at the market or house? In the answer, you will write, all oaths are of same value. Whether you take the oath at Kaaba or whether at market or house, or whether <clears throat> under the whether by placing the Quran on your head. I will repeat the answer. All oaths are same. All oaths are of same importance. Whether it is taken in Kaaba or taken in market or house or whether taken under the Quran. Next student, Kazin, repeat the question and the answer. Or Muhammad. Okay. Yes. If if the oath is taken at Kaaba, is it more worthier than the oath is oath is taken at the market or house? The answer is all oaths are same importance, whether it's taken in Kaaba or taken in market or house or whether it's taken under the Quran. Hmm. So all oaths are of same importance. The next thing which is mentioned here. We have already written the question in the previous one that Allah will be angry with such person who will grab someone else's property or wealth by taking a false oath in the court. <clears throat> no, read this one. 24 chapter. If some people have to take an oath and each then each of them wants to take it first. Two, six, seven, four. Narrated Abu Huraya, uh, the Prophet wasallam asked some people to take an oath and they hur hurried for it. The Prophet wasallam ordered that lots should be drawn amongst them as to who takes the oath first. And there was something in which Prophet wasallam asked them to take oath, everyone wanted to take oath with the Prophet and then lots were drawn at that time. Next time, inshallah, we'll continue this or this. If anyone has any question, they can ask me. Then we'll yeah, I wanted to ask you if maybe the husband forgives the wife, will he be considered as the youth or it's okay to forgive the wife? And there's a hadith in which a uh, man came to the Prophet ﷺ for this same issue. The woman was probably committing adultery with some more than one man. So Prophet ﷺ asked him to divorce the lady. The man replied, I cannot live without her. So she was committing adultery with other men, but the man said, I cannot live without her. Then Prophet said, then enjoy her as much as you can. In that case, he remained with that lady. He did not divorce her. So this means if a man forgives her uh, adultery, then he can stay with her, no problem, no need to divorce.
but even in that situation allah will punish the lady in the next life okay anyone else um no thank you 